good morning my dear children my dear parents my dear teachers once again we are here to participate in the mass to experience our lord and jesus he is a wisdom he is a love he is the one who guides us therefore today in this mass let us pray for all the families very especially i am praying for the school i offer our school our teachers our students to the care of st joseph so today i want to take the votive mass of st joseph let us intercede to st joseph that our schools may be blessed our school may be blessed all teachers may be blessed all the parents may be blessed in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the lord be with you and with your spirit so my dear teachers my dear children let us be sorry for the times we have not fulfilled our responsibilities you are sent to heal the contrite of heart lord have mercy lord have mercy you came to call sinners christ have mercy christ have mercy you pleaded for us at the right hand of the father lord have mercy lord have mercy may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen, amen. let us pray a uh, god who in your inexpressible inexpressible providence were pleased to choose saint joseph as spouse of the most holy mother of your son grant we pray that we who revere him as our protector on earth and the patron of our school may be worthy of his heavenly intercession on our children our teachers our parents we make this prayer through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen a reading from the letter of St Paul to the Ephesians Brothers and sisters you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit namely that the mystery was made known to me by revelation as i have written briefly earlier when you read this you can understand my insight into the mystery of Christ which was not made known to human beings in other generations as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the spirit that the gentiles are co-heirs members of the same body and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel of this i became a minister by the gift of god's grace that was granted me in accord with the ex- exercise of his power to me the very least of all the holy ones this grace was given to preach in the, to the gentiles the inscrutable riches of Christ and to bring to light for all what is the plan of the mystery hidden from ages past in God who created all things so that the manifold wisdom of God might now be made known through the church to the principal principalities and authorities in the heavens this was according to all, to the eternal purpose that he accomplished in Christ Jesus our lord in whom we have boldness of speech and confidence of access through faith in him the word of the lord thanks be to god 
You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. From the springs of salvation. God indeed is my savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim his name. Among the nations make known his deeds. Proclaim how exalted is his name. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exaltation, O city of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Stay awake, for you do not know on which day your Lord will come. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. my hearts and minds so that I may proclaim words worthily. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour when the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken. You also must be prepared, for at an hour you did not expect the Son of Man will come. Then Peter said, Lord, is this parable meant for us or for everyone? And the Lord replied, Who then is the faithful and prudent steward, whom the master will put in charge of his servants to distribute the food allowance at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master on arrival finds doing so. Truly I say to you, he will put him in charge of his property. But if that servant says to himself, my master is delayed in coming, and begins to beat the men servants and the maid servants to eat and drink and get drunk, then that servant's master will come on an unexpected day and at an unknown hour and will punish the servant severely and assign him a place with the unfaithful. The servant who knew his master's will and did not make preparations for act in accord with his will shall be beaten severely. And the servant who has ignored his master's will but acted in a way deserving of serving Severe beating shall be beaten only lightly. Much will be required of the person entrusted with much, and still more will be demanded of that person entrusted with more. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. May, the, may the words of the Gospel be with us. My dear children, my dear parents, and my dear teachers, today I just wanted to just reflect. Much will be required of the person entrusted with much. 
and still more will be demanded of the person entrusted with more. So you know, all of us are special in the sight of God. And God has entrusted with us something. We are not zero. We have something with us. Some have got more, some have got less. But everybody has got a purpose. God has created with a purpose. You children, you teachers, you parents, you just think, are you simply here? No. I am here for a purpose. God created for that. That's why John Powell, uh, the writer, perhaps some of you might have read him, and he says in his book, the through the seasons of the heart, he says, God created us for something very special. God sends each person in the, into this world with a message to convey. So we must convey the message. And we have a special message, we have a special song to sing. What is my song? Sometimes we'll have to change the song, tune the song. And with a special act of love to bestow. Look at Mother Teresa. She had a special act of love. Each one of us have got that special act of love. My dear teachers, you see, you are special for the children. They are learning from you something beautiful song from you, a beautiful message from you. And your love, they will over, ever cherish. Therefore, teachers, you have a special call. As the Lord says, much will be required of the person entrusted with much. And the children, you are, we are forming them to find out what is their song, what is their message they must bring to the world. In the school, we are doing that. The teachers are helping to find out what is the song the children must sing, what is the message they must convey to the world, and what is the act of love special love that they must perform. So today let this word of God help us to find out I and you, those who are watching me, those who are seeing me, uh, must uh, convince ourselves I have a song to sing, I have a message to convey, and I have an act of love to perform what it is. We must find out. Uh, your teachers, you have the responsibility, parents, you have the responsibility, and my dear children, you are there, be an open book to learn from teachers, to learn from the parents, and to find out what, are, what is my special song, what is my special love, and what is my special message. I'd like to make a few prayers for you. My dear children, you are very special. And the teachers, you are very special. And the parents, you are called to be special. Lord bless all of us that we may be finding out for what purpose you have created. Bless all our families, bless our parents. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, in this world, now we are finding with the difficulties because of the pandemic. We are not able to come together, meet together, play as children. And therefore, Lord, let us be freed of this pandemic. We cry to you. Let us Lord, pray. To hear our Loving and merciful God, today we also entrust our school into your care. The teachers who are working selflessly, bless them. Bless their families. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, we Lord, bless all those who are the benefactors who are helping the school, who are thinking of uh, well-being of the school, who are out of the way praying for the school. Bless all of them, Lord. School is the place from where wisdom is distributed. Therefore, let us all be filled with the wisdom that is you. We pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Blessed Mother, always pray for our school. Saint Joseph, always pray for our school. Saint Francis of Assisi, in the seed for us. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us with a humble and contrite heart. What you mean? My children, my dear teachers, parents, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of the whole of the church. As we prepare to offer the sacrifice of praise, O Holy Father, we humbly ask you to be sustained in our service by the prayers of St. Joseph, to whom we entrust our school, our children, our teachers, our parents, the families, whom you have called to watch like uh, the Father's care here on earth. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lead us to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and in honoring St. Joseph, to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and bless you. For this just man was given by you as spouse to the Virgin Mother of God, and set as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father over, you, over your only begotten son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adored, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and he ended willingly into his passion, he took bread, said the blessing, he broke the bread, 
gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup We proclaim your death O Lord until you come again Therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with the francis our pope joseph our bishop with all of the bishops all priests all deacons all religious and your entire people we remember our parents our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god saint joseph with the blessed apostles saint francis of assisi our patron and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit it to be co-heirs with eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in he a god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Today we come to know that God has created us with a purpose to know it, to execute it, to love it. to find joy in it let us pray as christ our lord taught us our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil to deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ lord jesus christ who said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you 
look not on our sins, but on the faith of a church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May this mingling of body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us. Receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, may the faith and love and mercy be to your body and drink your blood. Let not bring us condemnation, but health and the healing in mind and body. Behold the Lord, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Body and blood of Christ bring us to eternal life. Amen. Let us pray. Restored by these life-giving sacraments, O Lord, may we live for you always in justice and holiness, helped by the example and intercession of St. Joseph. May his intercession also come on our school on our families, our children, our teachers, our parents, and on all of us who, in carrying out your great mysteries, served you as a man just and obedient. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I thank all of you for attending this Mass. So let us be united in prayer. Wherever you are, let us be united in prayer. I thank the altar server. I thank one who is helping us to record, to tape. And I want to just want to remind you, just a information, like being the special month of October, devotion to Mary, devotion to Rosary, we have morning at 6 o'clock. Morning at 6 o'clock, we have a Rosary in our grotto, Our Lady's Grotto, and then 6 p.m. to in the evening, we have rosary. 
So all those who are free, please come and join in this special devotion of Mary, our mother. Also, I want to uh, inform you that we have also adoration of the Blessed Sacrament from morning after Mass till evening at 5. So take uh, advantage of all this and let us be special. Let us be special. God created in a special way. Each one of us are special for the Lord. Let us be a special student, special teacher, special parent. Let us receive the blessing from the Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. O Mary, sweet Virgin, O Mother most mild, with eyes full of mercy, watch over thy child. Away, away.